Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today I'm going to show you a new launcher just released. It's called SF Launcher. So this was recently featured on XDA and it is a new launcher, a uh, SF Launcher. I imagine that stands for San Francisco because San Francisco is one of the cities you can put up here in the the top header bar but as you see right now i just have this little mountain scene uh, it's very similar to google now in looks and feel here you have three basic sections here on the main screen you have your header spot for widgets and then a spot for your favorite apps if you scroll to the left here you get basically your app drawer complete app drawer and it's vertically scrolling Like I said, you can put apps here and you can put as many as you want. And the way you do that is just by tapping it here and your widget drawer pops up here. And you can pick and choose a widget to throw in there. Let's see, how about we just put the flashlight. And we'll pick one here, it doesn't really matter. So there you go. And then you can add another one as much as you want, I believe. Then your favorites here, the way you add one is to long press on it here. And you get the option, favorites or uninstall. And it will pop up down there. If you swipe to the left, actually swipe to the right, goes to the left. You get a settings area here with very few settings. Header bar and themes here. You can change the theme from uh, light to dark or auto. And the auto, the theme will change according to the time of day. You can change the city, like I said. There's only three options here. San Francisco, London, and generic. You can opt to show the status bar. Use header as wallpaper. Choose an action here and determine what happens when you press on certain things like the clock. And all these options are the same for every choice. You can also set the start time for the changing of the theme in auto mode. Then you can change the size of the widget panel. You can customize a few things in the favorites panel as well. Size, size of the icon, size of the text, things like that. And then similar in the app drawer. And you can also choose to pick up the full version of SF Launcher. This is indeed the free version. And that is about it, guys. It's uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Just something different than our standard Android launchers that we're used to. So pretty cool. Be sure to check it out. As always, I'll put a link down below to where you can find this. This was SF Launcher. My name's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Awesome.